Uh, hey guys, um, hmm, I really do actually have only one, th oh, a few things, um, I don't know, hold on, I need to figure out if, <laughs> if that was audible, <laughs> okay, so it wasn't, you could barely hear it, but t since I was looking for it, I was able to hear it, I don't know if you guys can, but there's like this, you know how sometimes when you're about to burp, but like it kind of, it, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it scientifically or whatever, but it kind of like, instead of burping out of your mouth, it, the burp kind of like, think of it, I, I think like, I know this isn't true at all, but like as a gas bubble, like it pops in your esophagus and then you just get like the kind of sound. Um, I mean, it happens to people all, like, it doesn't, I mean, it has to happen to other people. It doesn't happen all the time, but like, you know, it happens anyway, but like, it, it just, it, legit just happened it was amazing um anyway so it's 245 as of right now and my mother's probably gonna leave <clears throat> but um good news kind of i thought of a way to long well not elongate um i wasn't i was i wasn't done with the abridged episode and i thought i was never going to be able to finish it because um because I'm, I'm not that funny, okay? And I know I already said that. And I couldn't... But the thing is that I couldn't think of anything either. Like, I couldn't th think of anything to bridge or to continue on with uh, the other material that I had. Because I wanted to use one episode. I didn't want to go through three episodes and put them all together. Because, like, The Legend of Coral only has 13 episodes. And not like I'm going to make 13 episodes. I mean, I, d I doubt it. I doubt it, okay? And I'm not trying to get my hopes up or whatever. Um, But... Um, what's today? What Monday. Sorry. But the thing is, is, um, I, I, I wanted it to do, I wanted to do well. I wanted it to be funny, you know? Um, uh, but, th okay, but anyway, I find, I, f I think I figured something out. Um, uh, but it requires singing. So I couldn't do it today because I didn't want to be, well, I didn't want to be too loud. Um, so, uh, and um but yeah so i think it's gonna be cool i need to i need to like edit the video itself though the um well i for some i actually have it right here but um there's like um like a good like maybe even a a minute worth of song that i could probably do i think um so Hopefully it's cool. Anyway, uh, so yeah. So hopefully it, it it goes well. On another note, um, what happened today? Because something did happen yesterday, but I don't want to get into it right now. I uh, I called John, and yesterday, as I said before, um, his voicemail box was full, so I couldn't. So when your voice but when your voicemail box is full. When you, if the other, if the person doesn't answer it, you can't leave a voicemail. Um, so you like, you call it and it says, and it's like, um, we're sorry, but this, this individual's voicemail box is full. You cannot leave one. Please call back another time. And that sucks for me because, um, I like talking to people's voicemails. It's a, it's a, an alternative for me, you know, so if it's not there, I get really depressed. So I, I text, well, he, he called me back. No, he called me back. Um, he texted me like a minute after I called. Um, and he was like, I'm on a plane. I was like, I was about to be like, well, good. But I didn't. I was like, and your voicemail box is full. And then a few seconds later, he'd be like, it isn't anymore. So I'll call him, <laughs> I'll call him back at like, I don't know, eight Cause it should, it should, he should have like a two hour flight, cause he's only he's going from Georgia to Pennsylvania, I think. So, I don't know how long that flight is, but you never know. Um. So. Yeah. So I I don't know if he thinks he's had it because like sometimes because there's a visual voicemail and i don't know if it syncs up directly to the voicemail that you have on your phone because i have a lot of visual voicemail well i mean i used to um and i don't know if it's like 
full or not. So hold on, let me see. Nope. Um, so hold on, let me see if I, where is it? Really? I thought, I thought I had it. Okay, visual voicemail. Let's look at it. Um, I'm syncing my voicemail so I can get all the new voicemails if I have new, any new ones. All right. Um, settings. Um, doesn't say whether. <laughs> Am I the only one who can do that? When I when you yawn, you do like this high pitched whining like a dog does. Am I the only one? I need to actually. I hear it in my head. I don't know if I actually do it. So let me let me see if it actually happens. Let me let me see this. If I was cute, people would love me because of it. But I'm not. I'm I'm just really weird. <laughs> so anyway, so I hope his voicemail is deleted. So when he leaves, I'll try not to. <clears throat> I'll call, well, I mean, before he leaves, which is, oh my god, it's going to be in 11 days from now, um, <clears throat> I'll, uh, I'll be like, remember, delete, you know, the last few voicemails that I've done, so it's completely empty, or the ones that I have, the ones that I've left completely empty, so I have all the space that I want, because, like, he, he he's like, he's, he's okay with it, because, like, I told him, like, I'm probably going to do it, like, every single day. I hope it's not that creepy, but, like, come on, I get really bored. And, like, I jokingly said it was, like, because his name is John, and the movie Dear John, and, like, I've never seen the thing, but the one thing that I do know about it, because it was parried, um, parodied, parried, parodied, oh. anyway, it's that plot, it's like, Dear John, or whatever, um, so I'll probably start off with that, and hopefully, because he's going to be gone for 70 days, I can do it 70 times. Um, so, yeah. So hopefully I can, yeah, do that. Um, and from what I know, he got a new phone. Do do your voicemails... <sighs> do your voicemails go back? Um, hmm, I'm not entirely sure. Because I haven't deleted my voicemails in... Uh, but I'm not... I don't get called every single day. Like, I literally... I probably get a new voicemail every two weeks. Because no one ever calls me. Um, anyway. So, yeah. So, I'm going to probably call him in a few hours. And... Um, speaking of... Well, not speaking of... But, um, I was going to bring up yesterday. Yesterday, I was on Netflix. And I watched two things that were quite cool one of them was really really sad like it made me very sad um it was um elaine stritch just shoot me and it was a year in the life it was a documentary about a year in the life of elaine stritch um about a year and a half before she died and it was really sad actually it was just like joan rivers um because like I don't know, because both these people just recently, John, Joan just died, you know, um, her, her funeral was literally two days ago, um, her, um, <clears throat> no, her funeral was yesterday, um, and Elaine Stritch died two months ago, two, two and a half months ago, and Robin died, uh, a month ago, I think a month ago today, <gasps> speaking of which, and I know this is like, I shouldn't be too excited, but I kind of am, Okay, no, this is kind of spoilerish, spoilerishy, but like it's everywhere, and you can't really get away from it if you're a fan of Legend of Korra. But there's apparently this new trailer out, or like a new spoiler for the trailer, or whatever. It got leaked, and it wasn't supposed to be leaked. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting myself not to watch it. I'm trying to tell myself not to watch it. Don't ever watch it. Don't ever watch it, because um, I don't want it. I want it. I want the excitement of something happening. I want you know that feeling that you go, oh, I know it's there, and I'm gonna watch it. I want to watch it. I'm going to let that sit with me for, like, actually, like, another eight months until they show it up. But, <clears throat> anyway, um, apparently, Zelda Williams' character, daughter of Robin Williams, um, apparently she's going to be the new bad guy. 
and it's I think I like it. I think I like it. I, well, first of all, I like Zelda. She's really cool. Um, I don't really know a lot of her work, but I, I've seen her in interviews. Uh, I think I saw one. Well, okay. Well, the thing is, like, you know, she was named after Zelda from The Legend of Zelda. And they had, like, I think 10 commercials with her. Um, with her and her father when they're just playing the game. It's like, oh, yeah. Um, I named my daughter Zelda um, from the Princess and Legend of Zelda, and she's like, yeah, yeah, it was like, it was really cool, it was like, I know it was like a really weird name, but I'm, I kind of like it now, and it's like, you'll always be a princess to me, it was like, oh, and <laughs> um, it was really sweet, and he had like a beard and everything, it was like, classic Robin Williams, um, <clears throat> anyway, um, she, I found out, like, when was it? Uh, in I think episode eight, she made like a a very quick appearance, and I didn't I didn't notice it though. But like I was just looking her up, and um, <clears throat> because I really don't know why, but it was before he died, and um, anyway, uh, I think it was uh. Anyway, so I was like, I was on her IMD page, and it's like Legend of Zelda. I was like, not Legend of Zelda, Legend of Korra. I'm like, oh, what, really? Who was she? And then it said like some random name. Like, I didn't even, I couldn't even, I don't remember the names for anyone besides the main characters. And Amond. Not Amond. Amon. Sorry. Um, speaking of which, I'm probably going to use a lot of Amon jokes because it's like, Amon, a boat. Um, so, and anyway, but uh, yeah, she's going to be. A part of it, I'm so happy. Good for her. Um, I mean, she's already done. She's already did it. <laughs> They're already done with the, um, all of the... They've already written it, and I think they're working on the last episode. Or they've already wrote it on, and they just started on the last episode. But, like, they're really done. Well, like, they're all in post-production now. And um, um, But, yeah, I can't wait. I hope that she's really good. And... But from what I could tell, she changed her voice. Because she has, like, a, a tomboyish voice. Which is, doesn't really affect on her physically. Because, like, physically, she's, like, really... Well, actually, I haven't seen her these past few years. Because it was, like, those commercials were, like, a few years old. But, um... But, no, she's, like, she's quite... I guess angelic, in a way. Um, but, you know, that's not the point, that's not the point, but she has, like, a kind of a raspy-ish voice, um, <clears throat> oddly enough, I think so, I haven't heard her in a while, I mean, I work, okay, a lot of stuff that I bring up, it's usually by memory, and I don't have a pretty good memory if I don't care about it, um, and not to say that I don't care, well, I just keep digging myself a hole, I'm sorry, <laughs> um, but anyway, I just hope she does really good, and I can't wait for the first season, I'm sad that it's going to be the last season, and I'm really considering actually buying all three Legend of Korra seasons, like on DVD and Blu-ray, well, on Blu-ray, because I want the special features, and I want it to look amazing, um, but anyway, Elaine Stretch, I already knew she died, um, and it was really sad, uh, like really, really like. Well, I mean, I watched her on Thirty Rock, and I finished Thirty Rock, and then I found out she died, and then I was sad because it was like she was a pretty good, she was a pretty cool character, and like I, you know, um, she died on the show as well, so it was like really weird, and then, um, <clears throat> and then I after the whole Joan Rivers day in the uh, a year documentary thing. Um, it was in my recommended list going, hey, you like this one as well? And I was like, okay, sure. And I watched it. It was really sad because she's she was 80, she turned 87. And she had diabetes. And I never knew diabetes could affect you that harshly. And it was kind of scary because, like, she was, it was just scary. Because, like, I knew, I, I knew she, well, I mean, in the middle, okay. Um, literally in the first 30 minutes, because it's like an hour and 30 minutes long. Um, it's quite a, it's quite long, actually. Um uh, uh, she has like a diabetic attack, <clears throat> a diabetic attack, um, and she was like really not delusional, but like she, 
confused. And I never actually saw that in a person in real life. You always see it on, uh, for me, like movies, ex- driving Miss Daisy when she's like, she has to get somewhere, but she doesn't have to go there because the place that she wants to go hasn't been there for 50 years. It's just, you know, and I, you know, and it's a movie and I still felt sad and it was real life and it was like, oh my gosh, this is horrible. And the documentary people aren't doing anything about this. I was like, yeah. Um, and I know what you're saying, like, well, it's a documentary. It could have been staged or whatever. But the thing about her is that she flat out started talking to the camera at times. Like, and it was, like, really weird. I don't, and, like, so, like, because she did that, I don't know if if they staged anything. Um, because she wanted to stage something. And she was like, you got to get, you got to get here. Anyway, but it was really sad. And. Um, and at the end, it was like, um, she's planning on retiring in 2014 or 2015 or 16 or 17 or 18. And it was really sad because you know, she died in 2014. So she literally just retired and then she died. It was really sad. Um, but it was a great documentary. Um, I, uh, she's really funny. You, you got to go on a set of 30 Rock for, you know, for like five minutes. <laughs> And it just showed her, you know, just going around. And, and then I found out she never wears pants. I think she wears really thin, not thin. I think she wears stockings and really thin, 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 skin tight leotard type of leggings. Leggings. And it was really weird because, like, she wears like this. She reminded me of Joan Rivers. And I felt like Joan and Elaine were best friends. Like, they could be best friends. Um,. I think so. I'm not entirely sure. Now when I think about it, they might hate each other. <laughs> I don't know. But um, she reminded me of Joan Rivers because she, she, she first of all, she has, she wears like these huge, like 60s styles glasses where it's like kind of squarish, but square roundish, like really huge. And her sunglasses, I think they're prescription sunglasses. So she's like, it's still glasses, but also sunglasses. And then she wears like this bob kind of hat thingy that, um, like kind of it's like the styles of what fishermen wear i guess but it's like elegant i don't know what the name is it though but it's like you know kind of roundish and she fits it on her head her hair kind of flips out like it's like really stylish and then she wears like these really huge fancy coats and and then it, like it goes all the way down to her knees and then you just see stockings and she wears heels at 70 at 89 at um 87 years old that's what she wears and it was really funny and then on stage because she has like um uh performance uh, a one woman performance she literally wears the stockings and a, a a fancy shirt and the fancy shirt goes down um because it's longer it goes down to her um the length of skinny shorts like short shorts and and her legs still go <laughs> like she has long legs. Like I, and I know it's really weird, even for me to say. But like on a physical proportional level, she has long legs. Because I was like, man, how how can they not? See, how can these people not see anything? And then there was like this moment when she like, not when she kicked or whatever, but like she did like a walk, and the the um the fabric the shirt itself kind of waved i was like oh no they're gonna see something and there was nothing there and i'm like oh my god she has long legs she has like it's weird i don't know anyway um but no but she did really great and um she wanted to get out of new york at the very very end and i think she found a place and hopefully she did and then i watched um i know that voice which was also a very long um, film. It was like an hour and 40 minutes. Um, a documentary about people talking about voice acting. And I learned something from Don, Dima- Don, Gimag- Don Dan DiMaggio. What's his name? Hold on. I know him. I know his face. Don DiMaggio. DiMaggio. Yeah, Don, Don DiMaggio. Nope. That is a different guy voice actor Dan
Okay, so hold on. Jake the dog. I know he's Jake the dog. I'm sorry. I know I'm not. Don, John DiMaggio. Don DiMaggio? Man, I was really off. I'm sorry, guy. I really like him, too. Anyway, but like I saw it, and it was really cool. He's quite, you know, funny. But it was also kind of... Um, it wasn't forcefully funny, so that was like, you know, it was great. Is that him? No. Uh, sorry, I just thought I saw something. That really rustled my jimmies. Um, <laughs> um, and you know what I was really surprised, though, when I was watching it? Was, um, his voice isn't that high. No, I mean, his voice is actually kind of high. It's, like, normal. And, like, he forces his voice to go really low. Like, a, like, 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 he's a professional. Like, he has a huge range. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was really cool, and I really liked it. And anyway, but he taught me something, as I was trying to point out, is that, um, you know, I have a pop filter, and if I, if I pronounce the P's and the and the bees too much you get and um i mean i'm sure you heard it yeah you heard it i can see it anyway but he was like um if the you know the pop filter isn't doing so well and there's like a word that just has it's just messing with your with the the popness and such you put a um um a finger or or a pencil or a pen in front of your mouth um was it vertical yeah, up and down, and you just put it right in front of your mouth, without actually, you know, hit not too hard so you could you can barely talk, but just right there, because it, um, as you know, when you do the P or the B, um, like a huge puff of air comes out. That's why it's called a pop filter. Get it? Anyway, so you have it there that cuts the the air current and splits it apart. So. I'm going to test it out. So, this is a normal one. Hmm. It's actually louder, apparently. <laughs> but anyway, I'm sorry. Uh, apparently, it didn't work. Hold on. Anyway, though, but, like, he's not, it's, I don't, I doubt there's anything, like, any real line that requires you to do, like, a, that sound, like, um, ba, 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 um, anyway, so, I'll use it again eventually, I want to see if it actually works, like, I'll try it, but, like, I've realized that you have to be at a certain length, because if you're too close to, the pop filter isn't going to absorb everything. You have to get it a certain, like, a few inches away from the pop filter. But that means you actually have to talk at a normal volume. And I just, you know, I can't do that when people are here. So I have to wait until they're gone. And then I do, like, the the grunts and the, the loud talking. Um, which I actually did quite a few things. I actually had to yell a few times. Um, uh... Uh, if, I can't really think of any lines, but there, you know, there were a few times where I actually had to yell, and it was kind of, it's kind of cool. It was freeing. I felt comfortable. Uh, I wish I could be a voice actor, but I don't think I have any real um, talent. I don't really have that many voices, to be honest. And it's not just about voices; it's also about acting, because you have to, you have to cue everything up with just your voice, and it's, you know. It's difficult i don't know um <laughs> so yeah i just don't really have that range of a thing but like i really do wish i could because like i don't know i feel like i could i feel like i can do something right someone can do about a little something um but i don't really have that much of a range like i could literally have a i have a i have a deep voice and that's it i have no high voice that's just not how it works i don't no i don't <laughs> Come on, guys, let's go. Doesn't work. Because, like, every single time I, I try to do a, 
I voice, all I can think about is Miranda sings. It's like, don't. Don't do it. You don't know my life. I'm lost. It's just, <laughs> I don't know. It's, she's funny, too. Um, but anyway, but yeah, so I saw those two things. I have not played Final Fantasy 13 in, like, five days. <laughs> And it's quite sad because like I spent twenty dollars on that stuff, and I haven't. I still haven't. I haven't played Batman Arkham or Asylum in two weeks. Oh god! Oh god, man! Right. So, boy, yo, it's just you know you give it chance. Not the right chance, right? So I should probably be leaving, right? I don't want the. Uh, I don't want this to be a long rendering, so. Also, tomorrow, if I if everyone's gone, I'll probably... Well, I mean, in the morning, I doubt my sister... Oh, oh here, that's another thing. My sister walked watch YouTube, but my, I could tell that she was sick, so I had to wake her up a little early um, so, uh, because watch YouTube was sick, and then she threw up, and then she defecated, and then I had to take her out once, and then she defecated again and threw up twice, and then I brought her back in and and then I took her out again and then I have to take her out again three hours and then I have to take her out again three hour, uh, four hours after the three hours so um, but you know eventually I mean it was kind of like a really bad first day because like eventually hopefully tomorrow um, I'll wake up and I won't have to walk her. And then I can wait until one. It'd be great. And then I only have to walk her three times instead of four, you know? Um, so, yeah. Uh, oh, man, what was I going to say? It was something about... Nope, I can't really think about it. So, yeah. Uh, but, oh, tomorrow when everyone's gone, oh, I'm going to work a little bit on the... My story... I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna work a little bit on the story, but I'm gonna once everyone leaves, I'm gonna do the uh, the rest, uh, more of the lines and the story for um, the abridged episode. Because th I have there's one part that I have to do that I cannot, under any circumstance, stances do when anyone's here. So, oh my God! Speaking of which. Um, when I when my older sister was asleep because she was asleep because she has the day off, um, I I was um <clears throat> I was um my mother called me saying that our landlord was coming over to uh, get the um the rent and I was like ah oh, man that's six but you know what could I do so I waited a little bit. And then I was in my room. I was, what was I doing? I think I was, well, I was on, obviously I was on the laptop, but I don't remember what I was doing. Um, I think I was, I don't remember. That's horrible if you can't even remember. Because, like, I'm trying to be, like, I mean, it doesn't really matter what I was doing. But, like, I'm trying to remember. Because, like. Not, you know, now that I brought it up, I'm like, okay, what did I do? And I can't remember. Like, sad. Because <laughs> that was like, you know, four hours ago. Anyway, but I was on the laptop, and then he started knocking. And the back door, that's the weird part. He not, started knocking on the back door, not the, fr I don't know what the heck was going on. But, like, he was knocking hard. And you can tell a person's personality by how they knocked. You know, I do like a this type type of. Th I mean, obviously it's a little louder. I don't, but I don't, cause like, I mean, I've told you guys before. But if you like jiggle the the laptop, it'll freeze. The monitor will freeze, and it's like super sucky. Anyway, um, but yeah, so like I knock, you know, you know, three times maybe, and then I wait to see if I hear anything, and then I'll knock another time. But he did not. He knocked viciously hard four times you know one one too many and then 
And then he yelled out my name. What? Like, annoyingly. Annoyingly. And then he kept on knocking. And it was like, not a, you know, wash, rinse, repeat. It was a, it was a wash, 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 wash. It was like, it was so annoying. And like, my dog was in my room. So I had to get her out of the room so I could open up the door. Because I had... Like just coincidence, I had the, I had the, the um, oh what is it called the uh, the 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 check with me, so I wouldn't lose it. So I was like, oh, now I just have to give it to him. But then he just kept on knocking. It was so annoying. And he, as he was knocking and yelling my name, somehow he was calling me. It was really weird. Like really weird. And then I finally opened the door. It was like you know, six seven seconds, of me going, oh get down. Okay, close the door get the check open the door and he was like were you sleeping i should have been yeah with your wife slam it just i don't know i think about that now but not at the time i was like no i had to get my dog out of my room it's like oh okay and just for me being stupid i was like have a nice day and he left so and that was it it was like a three second interaction um and yeah so there you go. Anyway, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. I'm probably... I think I'm going to try to take a nap because I'm getting kind of tired. I'm tired of you. Um, shut up. So, yeah. And those are the three celebrities who died. Elaine, Stritch, Robin Williams, Joan Rivers. Three months, three deaths. And it's sad. Because usually celebrities die in threes and I think that's the three. Because I don't know any other celebrities that died. Hold on. Well, I mean, someone's at the front door, and I'm pretty sure it's my younger sister. So, right, see ya.